Welcome to Budget Outlaws. Today we're back on the LS6 powered 914 diagnosing an engine with a lot of clatter. When I received the car I noticed quite a lot of excess valve train noise and it seemed mechanical and definitely something that needed to be addressed prior to driving the car for any period of time. A quick rundown of the engine is in order as original LS6 engines don't have adjustable valves. This is a 2004 LS6 Corvette aluminum block with all aftermarket components. Forged crank, rods, pistons, custom cam, trick flow heads, T&D adjustable shaft rockers. There was a ton more of other high dollar parts in that, that complete this engine, but I'll put that in the description below. I added up about $10,000 in receipts. The bottom line is I didn't want to screw this engine up. So the plan of attack on this would be to first remove the valve covers, do an inspection of the valve train system. Initially it all seemed good. Gorgeous actually. It's a real pretty engine. I also pulled the oil pan off and checked for nasties, but that all looked good as well. There's definitely some sexy stuff inside that engine. So I put it all back together and spent several months completing the bodywork so that the car could, could be driven. My theory was that I needed to get some heat into the engine, so I pressed on with the bodywork. I'll put a link in the description down below for those videos. Finally, months later, the car was back on the road, and the first event of the season was quickly approaching. With the high dollar components in that engine, the noise was still bothering me. So I made an attempt at adjusting the valves. So I pulled off the rocker cover and I noticed something I missed on my initial inspection. One of the rocker lock nuts was completely missing. I also had a problem that if I ran the car and waited even a couple of minutes before getting to the valve adjustment, the lifter would pump down and it would be difficult to find the adjustment point. So I did the best I could and ordered some new lifters and gaskets, found the lock nut, but T&D had rushed one out for me just in time. Their customer support is fantastic. But the rest of it wouldn't be done in time for the first ever event with this newly rebuilt 500 horse 914. The Siskiyou Sports Car Club opening event of the year is a spring enduro, which functions differently than a regular autocross. That meant that the car had to to operate for five minutes straight, not like a normal autocross where it's about a minute per lap and then a 10 minute rest. One run of five minutes straight will find the weak spots. I had a few hours of free practice the day before with a couple of minutes on the track at a time and that made me feel better about the enduro run. Well, it survived the Enduro. No overheating, no running problems, no starting problems. It was just a good all-around day. I could focus on tires, brakes, suspension, and most importantly, how to drive that monster. So, of course, Monday after the Enduro, the lifter showed up on my doorstep. So it was time to tear that sucker apart. With the uh, lifter clatter, not bad, but enough to be concerning. I. Uh, pull the top end off to get to the, to the lifters and uh, these are the side that was the most critical ones right here is the noisy ones and there's some there's some wear but it's on the side it's not anything that's going to cause a noise or a clatter so they could be pumping down I'm hoping that's the problem but all I have it apart um, is what the cylinders look like so they look pretty good actually. There's a little bit of scraping there. Some of that's dirt from uh, stuff that fell in. We'll get it all cleaned out. And uh, can't really tell, but the, the cam looks really nice. All the lobes. And all the rollers on the lifters look really nice as well. The heads and all the valve train, all the all the uh, Rock arms, I'll show you that in a second. This is what it looks like after cleaning up a little bit. And very little, just a rag wiping it out. Let's see if I can get a number here. Nice set of 
Extension 5 8 headers, custom main. So, I got pretty lucky. This side came right off. The other side, most of the studs were coming out, so I kind of guessed that they had to come out. And that's how they got it out the last time they did this job. So I pulled out the long studs on the bottom. Um, ARP studs. And I uh, left the top ones in. They were not going to be a problem. So we'll change those lifters out. Here's what the rocker arms look like. It's a TND shaft rocker system. Very nice design. And uh, they look good. They look really good. So we'll get trick flow heads. Um, 215 CNC um, heads. Obviously they make good power. You know, there's the ARP um, studs. We'll clean them up a little bit, but they're but they're in good shape. No no indication on the gasket at all. Head head gasket, they both were sealing really well. Well, we only found one other issue with the internals. One of the lifters was missing a plunger retaining clip. The push rod was holding it in, so it didn't really do anything. The, uh, the good news is that we were able to locate it and the rocker arm nut and no further damage. With 16 new lifters, the engine sounded better, but according to many longtime LS builders, the aluminum engines are just a bit noisy. Adding forged components just adds to that, and adding headers transmits that noise. I'll throw in a quick example video here so you can see the difference when I cover the bottom end with a piece of insulation and then pull it off. So overall I'm happy. Still have some tuning to do. That's another video in itself. But the engine is in a safe place, it makes great power, starts every time, and hauls butt. I made it through every event of the 2019 season without a hiccup. I'd call that a success. In the next video, I'll go over how I prepped the LS6 914 suspension for the track, and that includes parts, adjustments, corner balance, alignment, etc. Well, I may have to split that into two videos, we'll see. Please click the subscribe button and also the click on the bell to be notified when we upload our next video. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate it.